1974, an extortionist threatened to detonate a nuclear weapon in Boston unless given $200,000. A scramble to find the bomb ensued. It turned out to be a hoax, but it revealed the US government's inability to respond to these kinds of nuclear threats. In these situations, 911 wasn't going to cut it. And so, the Nuclear Emergency Support Team, or NEST, was born. This is the story of those real-life superheroes. NEST is responsible for responding to U.S. nuclear weapon accidents, nuclear reactor emergencies, and other radiation contamination events. This requires members with a range of specialties, a marriage of the laboratory and the field, from scientists, former military personnel, and other experts. NEST has responded to many nuclear incidents, both in the U.S. and abroad, from Three Mile Island to Japan's Fukushima plant meltdown. Their activities are often preventative, such as monitoring the U.S. State of the Union address, the Super Bowl, and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. NEST radiation detection personnel are dressed to be anonymous. A searcher could be a random passerby with a backpack, staring at her phone, checking for radiation. There are many other stories of NEST in action, from searching for tiny bits of radioactive material through a crashed Soviet satellite spread across Canada's remote Northwest Territories, to searching for a lost U.S. nuclear bomb in the seas off the Georgia coast. As the article, written by J.A. Tilden and Dallas Boyd, says, Earnest professionals all, they are perfectly content to work unseen and unrecognized, with the quiet pride that they do in fact exist, both the country and the world are safer for it. Read more Tales of Nest by clicking the link in our profile.